That's the dog noise. It's time for the 17th annual insult competition. You've joined us just in time for the final. It's Aiden, Origin Edition, versus the Caravanier with a capital C. You got three goes each, the crowd decides. Caravanier, you're up first. Wait a minute, kid, you look like a child. Oh. All right, I guess he's holding back his, his true stingers, but that's okay. The reigning champ's bound to pull out the hat of death. Aiden! You're old. This guy stinks! Okay. Really, uh, really getting the creativity on. Carbonia, back to you. Your mother had to kill the monster for the furs you're wearing. I'm not even sure really that can be construed as an insult. I'm not sure how these people are finalists. But we'll see what Aiden bites back with. Like your hat. Oh! Oh, that one got a reaction because everybody knows his hat's terrible. No offense, Carbonier. Uh, talking of Carbonier. Carbonier! What happened to the right side of your head? Did you get in a fight with a razor blade? Probably uh, the best one so far. The bar is low. Aiden, can you deliver the final blow? My name's Aiden. <laughs> oh, the carbon has been executed with that gem. Who wins? Well, of course, it's up to you in Valhamar to decide. My little note, note here says something about saying the winner in a in a comment whatever that means anyway i'll go get cotton everyone loves my hat by the way i realized i don't need cotton for this bit so i didn't actually go get cotton <laughs> well i'm lost hey hayden i mean ace cadet we don't know your name yet hi i'm aiden okay <laughs> Away. <laughs> Just go. go. <laughs> I cannot move. You've got fire in your future. Ah, I don't like fire. You're gonna have to take a lot of it, my friend. And I'll just block it with my shield. How do you feel about fighting history? I don't understand the question. You will, little boy. You will. Hey, also, what do you have to say to me? I didn't upgrade Completicus. Are you doing a Harry Potter? No, it's actually a Roman general. <laughs> the name's Completicus, and I must upgrade. <laughs> Check out my sword and shield. It's totally the best weapon. Oh, what a lame, what a lame, lame. Look that, Josh just said sword and shield's the best weapon. Sword and shield, it's totally the best weapon. Oh, jag it all. What? Oh, damn it all, jag it all. Jag it all. I want to carry all the weapons, all the. T He's just you. Man. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, that's that's understandable. It's like your your annoying, your your less annoying younger younger cousin. <laughs> the caravan cares, with a capital C. So tell your friends, you look like you've made a few. <laughs> it seems like a really emotional call this help hotline advert. <laughs> the caravan cares. Call us now on C. It turns out the guild just cleared you for expeditions. One of them got them. I've never heard of one of these before. We should expedite Let's this conversation. This is for ultimate expeditions, all right? What? What is, what is this? You want to report back when monsters you bump into or bump off? Mm, I'll bump you off with a capital B. What the fuck are you carrying? Sir, this is my big steak knife. How dare you? How have I not seen this before? It's just a big knife. I love that. Uh, but take note, Cotton, and yay, Herald Fob, the sun is nigh. Okay, sir. You're about to experience the ever wood. 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 Look, this is exciting. You've never been on the Everwood before. No, you're just talking about wood. How am I supposed to know what you mean? This is the OG Guiding Lands. The Guiding Lands was born from the womb of the wood. Okay. What? Why don't you care about things? I just don't like it when you talk about tree wombs. Why? Is it because I'm barking mad? That's not a joke. It's a tree word. I think, yeah, I think it might be, yeah. Oh, Everwood. 
I have such beautiful memories of this place, like repeatedly getting punched in the face by a level 140 Rajang over and over and over again. This reminds me of Monster Hunter stories more than anything, honestly. Oh yeah, I could see why you'd think that, because of the corridor. It's just a corridor of forest. Isn't that the best kind of corridor? I love when Dora the Explorer goes through a corridor of forest. Well, I'm getting a cool little cutscene, so what are you getting? I'm just running. Uh, currently some unique mushrooms. Oh, that looks like a Velocidrome. That's spoilers. It's actually a Rajang. <laughs> what is this Rajang you speak of? I've not seen one of these before. Oh, you wouldn't understand. Ribbony! <laughs> <laughs> That's a Velocidrome! <laughs> oh, he looks like he's still conscious in this time freeze! Oh, what the hell is happening? Please don't hurt me! Alright, the one on the right is having its jaw dislocated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love time torture. It's my favorite Sunday afternoon show. Time torture would actually be awesome! A group of time travelers goes back in time and tortures bad people of the past! That just seems unnecessary. Just kill them. You don't have to torture them. Yeah, but, you know, it might get them to change their ways. There are other ways to do that, like... Like, you can go and give them a, a nice role model, you know? Something like that. This whole Everwood thing, you go into it, you find monsters, you research them and then the guild right. goes all right fine i believe you this type of monster lives here we'll make it official yeah but you also kill it so it doesn't live there anymore <laughs> speaking of which are you gonna hunt that <laughs> velocidrome there i will when you let go of me please caravanir you god of the space time and the universe <laughs> let time flow normally again and i may <laughs> why are you a benevolent god or not caravanir why are you a banana why are you a banana oh i've already stunned my velocidrome you were just fighting it? I was enjoying the time. No, no, reason. I was fight I was fighting it for about five seconds, and then I stunned the Velocidrome. Oh, okay. I wasn't that far ahead of you. Hey, look, I got some more points for accidentally killing his Velocibabe. Oh, baby. Velocibabe. Velocibabe. Boom! I also did a boom, but it didn't hit. Oh, it's, it's dead. Yeah, that'll that'll happen when you've got a, a, a much upgraded weapon compared to a Velocidrome. A steak knife. A snake knife, yeah. I don't want to call it a snake, but, you know, close enough. I said steak! I heard snake, and I stand by that. Attention, if you please. Uh-huh. I'm paying attention. Oh, you see this? You see this? Yeah, it's a, it's a wagon. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get on this wagon. Right. And you're going to you're gonna ride it back to, back to town. Right, I plan on it. Yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know where that's gonna go. Like, where's the town from here exactly? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, what are we, what are we doing? That statue's freaking out. <laughs> yeah, that statue's like, oh god, I'm drowning! I'm drowning! Are you gonna drive in here on that wagon? Oh, there is four barrels on it. Maybe they're all like explosive. Oh, it's, it yeah, it's a rocket it. ship. Yeah, rockets yeah. it across. There we go. Just like, oh, oh no, we're being silly. The, the the barrels act as a flotation device, so you can literally ride it across the water. I really thought you were gonna say, oh, we're being silly. That Aptonoff has reindeer rules and can just run through the air. Yeah, of course. Rare eco discovery rate. Two. Two? That seems pretty low. You're getting a taste of Tuan's end game. I think you can do better than so that. So guild quests are the end game. Essentially, you need to work to get a guild quest for the monster of your choice. Then every time you beat that guild quest, the difficulty of it goes up, up to a maximum of 140. Right. And then farming level 140 guild quests of the hardest monsters is how you RNG farm the best stuff in the game. And in, in, in For Ultimate, there's the level of RNG where you RNG farm weaponry. So you get like a relic sword, oh reveal it, and you hope that it's an upgrade because it'll be better than anything you can craft. That's pretty cool. I wish that they kept doing that. Oh, Caravanir, are you arguing with the cook? You're cooking in a burnt pan, you fucking dick! You're gonna blow fire in your face, you donkey! Why is he, why is he like, <laughs> it's so funny how you make food! <laughs> I love it when it bounces. Finally as a cook, namely, the street cook. So you, what you're saying is you hired the only cook in the town. Stole. There's no money exchanging here. Who knew that the character just a few feet away from me with cook in his name was actually a good cook? <laughs> You can't, you can't make this stuff up. Who wrote this? This is the article. Amazing, isn't it? It's my hat MacGuffin. It looks like a piece of corn. Okay, real talk. What do you think that is? Can you predict what the reveal for the MacGuffin's gonna be? It's a regio scale. Is that your final answer? Um, piece of corn that was eaten by a Seregios and then came out the other end gold. So that's where my corn got to, Carvania! You Stole it from me! I've been farming my corn so they go gold! I've seen my share of incredible things, but this and trumps and all, it's like an itch I can't quite scratch. Wanna know, give the story behind it, I'll do just about everything, even run off in a caravan. And that's how me and the man 
got started. The truth is out there, man. The truth is out there. Aliens. It's aliens. It's from an alien. I hope you're all set and ready for the adventure, Hunter. You're about to see what a real expedition is all about. Even the terrain will be different. So yeah, the Everwood changes every time you come here. So there's only Oh my seven. god, now I have to go south instead of north? Man, this was awesome. Okay, why don't you res No, no, I, I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm not like saying like, "Oh, it's great." Like, no, it, it is it's cool. I'm just acknowledging that that's the difference right now. Oh, this is the classic. I'm going to look at the camera and bite it. I love this. He's on his way. He's coming. He's coming to get the conchu. Why do it's all the conchu start time. walking towards us simultaneously? Like they're, they're like they're all just genuinely like, mm, yes, fresh meat. I wish I knew. Like it's conchu. What is that in the sky? Could it be a Yon Kutku? You've seen him before? Never. <laughs> How did you know his name? It's like when you look at someone and you go, Steve. You ready? You ready? And. Ah, there it is. Um, That's this. I love that moment. It gets me every time. And the idea that he swallows them as a ball and doesn't actually crunch them or chew them. They're just little like... Mm. Yeah, you'd think the beak would be a great, like, nutcracker for Kanji. Yeah, but no, you it's just, just balling it down. Yeah, it's not great. Not great. And now we will do battle. Will you? Or will you talk about it with the caravan here? Oh, he did not enjoy that. Well, can you blame him? You're hitting him with a weapon. Not just any weapon. A knife? A great sword. Oh, I almost got you! I got his! I almost got his bitch! What? I almost got. You can't steal Yonkaku's bitch. That's a Rathian. <laughs> don't you even? Don't. I'm not starting, but I will finish. <laughs> Said the Kukku to the Rathian. <laughs> I have no input in this situation. <laughs> Said the Rathalos to the Kukku and the Rathian. <laughs> I just activated my 10% chance to do a negative critical hit. That's sad. I feel bad for you. Are you, weep are you weeping? I can feel bad for you without openly crying. I mean, then I just don't think you're feeling bad enough. Like, I want you to feel like Michael Jackson bad for you. Michael me. Jackson didn't feel bad in a sad way. <laughs> He felt bad in, a, in, a, in an ass way. <laughs> I, like, it makes sense, like, bad ass, but when you say, yeah, he felt bad in the ass way, it does not, it does not come across as, like, a cool thing. I'm bad in an ass way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got the shits. <laughs> Food poisoning, out the wazoo. Uh, die. In the mouth, out the wazoo. Really, Ankutku? What did I just say? Die! Die! There we go. There we go. We did it. Took a couple, but we got there. To be fair, I think the first die probably started the heart attack. It just took a bit of time to actually finish him yeah, off. Yeah, to be fair, that's how heart attacks generally work, so. Woo! -ee! You don't find blazes like this every day. Oh, yeah! If you got lucky with the Everwood, or if it was a high enough guild quest or stuff, you'd get these rooms where you could actually mine um, nodes like this, and you'd get, like, relic weapons. Or you could mine your own business. You know, I'm just trying to happily, like,. I'll show you this cool part of what made for you arguably have the best end game of any monster hunter and you just you just you're just taking taking the 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 piss I don't know what you're talking about man I think you should start an ore selling business I was being serious nobody wants to buy ore not from me why not what do you do with your ore I don't I can't I can't mine enough of it is it is it bad in the ass way stop why is he telling me that I need to search for treasure? There's no treasure here, unless he means these old boxes. It probably oh, there he does. Look, I obtained boxes. battered armor. There we go. Yep, that's a relic, all right. See, how, how interesting is that? Just generically finding armor and weapons. I mean, it's cool. I feel like it's incredibly hard to balance a proper endgame set, but, like, theoretically. Well, yeah, because the thing is, you get different skills, so you can't just, uh... Like, there's the, the best default set, obviously. You can't really you make a build, you know? Improve it as you go. But the yeah. thing is, it's so, obviously we've had de de decoration RNG, we've had talisman RNG. You never experienced the uh, the intensity that was literal armor and weapon RNG. No, that's terrifying. No one. Are you ready? Gonna see what my battered armor turned into. Oh, I'm ready. It's gonna be like a rare 10. Hunter's Van Braces. Rusty. Which, considering that the Tetsu stuff's like 16 defense, I mean, it's an all right little find, isn't it? Celtus will now show on us. Sorry, did a Celtus watch that Yam Kukku die and be like, Now there's a space for me in the ecosystem. By any chance, Caravaneer, are you about to make the Wyparia merchant, the only merchant within 20 feet of you, the, the third member that you're looking for, and the merchant of the Caravaneers? Because God forbid you search any more than 10 square feet of the town. You could just get the Guildmar and call it a day. Well, Guildmar's already there. Guildmar, the Mam, and Caravaneer, the, the OG3. Well, that sounds like cheating. In what capacity? Who are they cheating? I'm just saying, clearly the Guildmarm is an officially licensed Guildmarm. 
fine to see you with... Can I help you, miss? I would like to purchase a night... Oh, you don't do that. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that, Caravaneer. <laughs> I just have an interesting face like that. As you've noted, it's intact. <laughs> Found a merchant who's willing to join the capital C. He does make it sound like a, 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 a rap group. Yeah, a little it? bit. Just not not like a modern one, and not a not a very cool one. Yeah, like a late <laughs> late eighties, just trying yeah. to get into the game. To investigate the lost art of melding. I wonder what melding could be. I have no idea. I've never heard of anything like this. Seriously, woman, what do you want? Now, do you say, do you sell goods or? Oh no! Okay, okay sorry. I my just bad. Oh, the people in it rude, absolutely rude. Oh my god! Do you like the caravan this much? Why did the white barium just go? Look at my pots. Look at my flag. Now look at me. Step right up, butter. Leave me your items, both superlative and superfluous, and I'll have them multiplying before you know it. Oh, I have missed the Waikoon. So the Waipurium is a feature by which you can get armor sets from monsters not in the game by trading for their parts anyway with parts that are in the game. Yeah. You know, you... What, you didn't like how my enthusiasm before I'm trying something else? Yeah, you've overcompensated. That's somehow even worse. That's so cool, though. <laughs> for real, though, it is one of the most requested returning features. Well, I mean, technically speaking, they have that in Sunbreak, but with, like, ores and stuff from other games. Quite the vivacious storyteller. I don't think vivacious, like, in that... Like, isn't vivacious a fit, like, a physical? No, it's just full of life. No, I'm thinking of voluptuous. I'm thinking of voluptuous. Voluptuous. There's no M in that word, by the way. That makes it sound silly. Yeah, it's voluptuous. It's voluptuous. Is it actually not voluptuous? Yeah. No, it's not voluptuous. Oh, you're right. Voluptuous. I thought it was voluptuous. <laughs> you're looking awfully lumpy today. Fuck you. Right, make sense. Why is it fuck me? You're the one who got it wrong. Hot dog, kindred hunter. You hungry? No, thank you. I'm I'm not hungry. But I I sold my arm for it. <laughs> now it only goes out to the elbow. <laughs> oh no! No, that looks so Germany, what's happened to your arm? I turned it into a hot dog. <laughs> oh, stump with a capital S. And now you get to go to the, the next area. What? There's a next area? Once we check the map and have a drink next to the hawk. There's a hawk? We're packing up. We're caravaneers. we got to travel, man. That's how this works. I'm not a caravaneer. I'm a hunter. What I like is that the forge itself is transportable. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. right? Like, it turns into uh, one of the caravans. Oh, the and then the wheels out. come up. Yeah. What? <laughs> Same with uh, Guildman's quest board, also transportable. I love that no one ever helps her putting this up. Like, like please, please. Oh, okay. Someone should help her with that. Yeah, um. I was. she does not seem like that's easy for her. Oh, no. <laughs> Just cut it off. It's not worth it. <laughs> oh no, and all the quests. <laughs> Why <are you> just... <laughs> He's just laughing at her. All he has to do is fucking just, just smack the fucking ground with his key. <laughs> and we're good. Ready to go. All locked up. <laughs> Spin and act. What? <laughs> the Why comparison. Systems online. 100% power online. <laughs> Ready for battle. Compare it's just. The difference between Guildmarm struggling to flip a board up and then that. <laughs> I know. You can see where the budget went. It's it's really like lucky that the two people he recruited happened to have transportable sets. I mean, it looks like nothing here is transportable. You know, like this place is is built to not be entered or left. Yeah, how neat is that? Yeah, it's really nice. And obviously, this was like, whoa! What we've only been playing for like a couple hours, and we've had like. Five story cutscenes. This is crazy. This is Monster Hunter. It's Monster Hunter. So, uh, who's your favorite Caravaneer so far? Cat, Wyvarian, Guildman, Caravaneer? It's a correct answer. Me. One day we'll have a legendary battle that is the handler meeting the Guildman. I don't know how legendary the battle would be. People's opinions are very clearly made on that one. It's time for the dwarves of Monster Hunter. The Wyverians. No. It's a whole other sentient race. Those don't exist. How to get back to Valhabar if you need to. You take the caravan backwards. <laughs> yeah, like you just travel back. It'd be really inconvenient for us though, because we travel as a group. Yeah, honestly, if you could t keep that to a minimum, it'd be less wasted time. Ah, there we go, little Miss Forge. Also a top tier character. You don't want to misforge things. That, that's how you get. That's how you need to get this a new one. This guy's name is Rust Abolisher. I hunt rust in the night, and it will not survive. 
I mean, I guess you've seen these people generally, because you can revisit here in GU as one of the towns. I don't know if I ever did visit here. I don't remember this. Actually, no, maybe not. Not in. Is it not in GU? I don't think this one was. No, no, it was because this was this was one of the the. I don't think it was. The Fated Four Towns, wasn't it? I don't think it was. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, no, it is. It is. Yeah, there is. It is a Four U exclusive. Is half. How do you get your hair that rigid? Uh, not showering for a very long time. I'm the village chief here in half. Oh, you want to build a ship? I have a little trouble helping you because the lava stopped because of a Tetsukabra. I've never been so sad that the lava isn't moving before. <gasps> I can't breathe. <gasps> this is the end. <laughs> I've got a quest that should unzonk the villagers. It's, it's kind of a shame that they story. don't have any capacity to beat a Tetsukabra. The entire village. Well, I mean, they're not fighters, they're makers of love. Why did you add that? And here is the sunken hollow, a volcano. Oh no, he fell in a pit. <laughs> Somebody get him back, no! Well, Tetsu Cabra, I'm coming for you. Has it helped? Is everybody happy now? No. Sorry, Mr. Quippet. It's me, Mr. Quippet. Who just uses derriere in the middle of an otherwise, like, English sentence like that? It smacked me bad in the ass way. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they sell butt armor. Yes, it's called pants. I've been waiting for you to return. It's always nice to see you back in one piece. I am the one that got rid of that Tetsu Cabra because all of y'all are useless! They're not hunters. Well, they've got big hammers and strong arms. And you can also sort of see through his stomach a little you bit. You can also, yeah, just a little bit. He's got like a mesh. Little holes. Little yeah, he's, got a little... he's got mesh skin. That's really alarming. <laughs> he's just... It is a problem. Every opportunity! By the way, this is, is not, this is a chance to show you the precious. Absolute reverse golem. Why is the rust abolisher attempting to abolish rust by just slapping a metal plate with hammer? Surely it would be like a, a, a polishing type thing, like with an acid or some sort of substance? No, I, like I, I, I think he's waiting for something rusty to be put down there. He's just practicing. Or he just does that forever, for the off yeah. chance someone does slide a rusty object underneath. So this guy is how you um, get rid of the, the rusted state on the, the bit of armor No we found. way. Yeah, I know. I know. Did you did you see that coming? No. I can't imagine a Gyps Ross skin being like shippy. Uh, maybe not ship. I guess it's it's probably buoyant. It's water resistant. You know. Oh, the rubbery hides are handy for waterproofing. There you go. Yeah. Ah, all right. Okay. All right. I'm so excited to hunt a Gyps Ross. Are you? Like imagine being treated to like Tetsu and Celtus and. All these cool monsters and catch a watcher and then they're like, Go kill a gyps Ross. Please do it. No one else will. It's not a matter of can or cannot. <laughs> no one else literally will. Please. They just refuse. Does this count? Can I just get a quest complete, please? I found two, in fact, dead gyps We're Ross. Is this, like, is this, is this how that, is this how that works? Like, can we just... Oh, to be not. fair, imagine finding the zone before meeting Nursilla, which obviously you do. You not knowing do. what has done this, knowing that this monster is still in your future. Like, how, how like, eerily badass is that? I mean, sometimes they do just have stuff that isn't, like, a part of monsters, you know? So, it could just be like, oh, that's a crazy set piece. And then you get the reveal, it's like, oh, shit! <laughs> that, that sounded just like me back in the day! That was you. It was actually a recording I made of you. That's weird on many fronts. Is it really? Oh, wait, no. Gyps Ross is in three. He's got to do his stupid, stupid run past the crystal. I remember. Okay, this is news to me, but I'll listen to you. Unless I'm mistaken, but I think we've got to watch him, like, run up a wall and... and God, what, a, what a waste of monster flesh. You're so mean to him. This guy can genuinely yep. run up a wall and get yep. to the ceiling. Can you do that? This is his way of playing dead. Like, whoa, I walked up the ceiling. Oh, no, I fell off. Oh, I guess I'm dead now. See, I feel like this is a spoiler for when that actually happened. This this guy could have any intro he wanted, and he chose that. Oh, he, he just he just flashes straight away. That's cool. Oh, he's enraged. Like, his eyes go very red. Yeah. He's Nargakuga. 
<laughs> yep, he's Nagakuga. One to one. Like if you if you squint and and you know got some water in your eyes, you can go yeah, Nagakuga. Yeah, you can feel it. Oh, Nelly the elephant. Who's Nelly the elephant? We've been over this. There's Dumbo and there's Nelly, the two prime elephants. I still don't know. No, I know Dumbo. I still don't know Nelly. Nelly the elephant went to the circus. I uh, don't know that. Also, it sounds like the uh, dramatic voiceover introduction of a really, uh, really lame film. It is known that there was two prime elephants, Dumbo and Nelly. Yet one day, they disappeared. And thus, the elephant species was doomed to extinction without the prime elephants. Oh, I predicted it right though, so I'm good. Yeah, me too. Did you just go into the woods so down and wait, Benny James? Uh huh. God, they're yeah. such good hunters. We know places where monsters hunt. Oh my god, I killed him! He's dead! Oh, he's- yeah, me too! Me, me too! Why are <laughs> hunts in sync? <laughs> we need to stop, man. We need to stop. His little, uh, like, timer on the flash of his crystal, like, predicts when he's gonna come up. I do like that. Oh, oh, he's falling over again. Oh, he's limping! More impact. Oh, you're letting yours limp? Because I'm letting mine limp too. <laughs> You're such a badass, man. Thanks. I love that the shadow goes back a bit before then going forward. Like, like, yeah. are they what? Are they slingshotting themselves once they get out of view? Like, it's I just a, it's a, they want more momentum. That's not how it works on a flapping, flying creature. I'm not gonna let mine sleep. I'm just gonna kill it before it gets there. I win. <laughs> oh. Well, I also did the sub quest, so I get 1.5 points. I don't believe you. Stop copying my hunt. You got rubbery hide. I oh, took his whole head, head off. Okay. Like, that's such a brutal monster part. Like, his head? Just like, ah, fuck it, and just through the neck. I mean, considering the other things that you're able to get, like, that seems a bit overkill. I've never noticed how alarmingly toxic this pool yeah, is. Yes, not somewhere you'd want to swim. Like, it's just not great, is it? Like, that's so vibrantly green. Just a touch radioactive looking. Oh, shit. Someone's been upgrading. Why Biserios? Defensive, obviously. Have you seen Biserios? He's like a oh, rock. Oh, you know who that is. Who's that? That's the the gunner. The the what gunner? The 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 beta gunner. Oh, not quite. You know that? Who's that? That's Caesar again. So I bet you never realized that they actually made a video game adaptation of the uh, of the Monster Hunter animated movie. Time travel is a hell of a drug. You're the hunter. You really? The hunter is you. The Ace Commander is a bit of a. I feel like he's a bit of a dick compared to his later incarnations. We had to investigate a certain monster. The ocean is serious business. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's the guy in blue who looks constipated. It's bad. Uh. <laughs> in the ass way. <laughs> All right, Satan, how you doing? Hey there, beauty. Excuse me? Oh, you're talking to the Trovarian. That makes a lot more sense. No, no, you've, you've got a beard. Can you hook a Mobra up? What? Can you hook a Mobra up? Yeah, he just he just creates puns where they don't belong. But what is that even supposed to be? Like, can you hook a brother know. up, I assume? But, like, Mobra? What, like, what, it's not even... Catch a what's up! Catch a what's up, yo! Just go go home. It feels like if Jesse Pinkman was a monster character, it would be Ace Cadet. Meet you during your very first conversation. I've never talked to anyone before that moment. My he very didn't rather time. lose it with me until like our second. High five. The thing is, it's rather loss, so it, it doesn't even. No, it's rather loose. Like technically, that would be rather lossy, wouldn't it? Please don't talk to me about the rather lossy. Perfect work, Hunter. Who captured a Gendro? So I've put it in this walk. I'd recommend still moving the walk while we're talking. It, it adds flavor if it hears words. Yeah, but it's the gendrome is burning. Yeah, as you can see, the gendrome is actually mixing itself right now. It's doing a really good job. A monster called the... I know what it... I, I've seen a Nursilla before. It's okay. No, 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 no. I didn't know you spoke Nursilla. That's my bad. I shouldn't have spoken in Nursilla. Oh. Also, he just said as fast as my Trovirian legs would take me. That's the equivalent of like, as fast as my human legs would go. Got it! Hi. Hey, man. Want to hunt their Stella? I guess, but how do we steer through the floor? Oh, go kick yourself. All right. Yes. Low yes, quest, <laughs> quest of tricks. 
Right now, honey, this is about what you've been waiting for. Like the Guildmaster said, it's time for your first dungeon quest. Yuppity yup. In case you're wondering, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing our level best, and by we, I mean I. So, uh, little, little primmy, primmy princess over there can stay all happy and blind and not have to worry right. about everything. So I am doing my best to balance the, the cool Caravaneer offline story with guild progress so that it's somewhat perfectly even and apparent. So wish me luck and Godspeed on protecting his experience. Luck! Speed. You son of a bitch. My experience is fine. I, I know what all these monsters are. That's not... Yeah, That's but you hurting. just need to show up and go on the journey, okay? I am. <laughs> I am doing that. I'm good at that. It's my best skill. I often die. <laughs> You'll never guess what we're about to hunt. No idea. It rhymes with killer. Urgle liar. Urgle liar. Urgle liar. Where do you think she's skittering about? I mean, pr why are we walking away from the zone with all the web? Well, be what? because what if she's trying to trick us in a trickly direction? I don't believe that... Ha! Ah, see, no, it's Renaplos. Well, Renaplos is a monster. Yeah, and in that regard, it's almost what we're after. Almost, yeah. It's just a bit the wrong size, and a bit the wrong shape, and a bit the wrong color, and a bit the wrong species. I'm gonna climb up this web, which feels like something that we shouldn't be able to do. I don't know why you're climbing up it, though. You can just... Like, both from a weight, a stickiness, a... Uh... Oh, God. I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here. Oh, she believed me! She totally believed me! She just turned around! She just laughed like, Oh, well, I guess if you're not here, then. Makes sense. Behold, for you, Nursilla. Nursilla? For me? No, no, not for you, Nursilla! No, I'm sorry, Nursilla! No, not for you! I was talking to- No, oh, Nursilla, oh, please! Oh, oh, oh. Uh. I wasn't gifting you cotton. I was cotton- cotton gifting you. Well, she's now above us. Hey, she's not that- that much better than us. Okay, that's- You can't uh, just- I, mean, like, I, can't I don't know about that. Say that. I think I can. Okay, this is a problem. Oh, webbing. I'm sure glad I got nine first aid med. Get web. Yeah, those would be nice. Don't know where my nine went. Look, you can. You have a shield, all right? You have a sword that you pulled in front of you just as much as I would the shield. <laughs> hey, it's the Genpray duet. <laughs> Not quite the same impact. They're also attacking me. <laughs> Still great voices, though. Why won't you let me just... <laughs> yeah, she's not standing still in a hittable location for very long at all. It's ridiculous. There's one. Oh my god, just stop moving! I don't remember that. Oh, so this is Nursilla's intro game, so, you know, that's cool. Oh my god, I'm literally behind her and I keep getting slept by the fucking stinger. Oh. The hitbox on that is not quite right. When I mean, it was aimed at me, so the fact that you got hit is even worse. Yeah, I was literally behind her, and when she backs up and rears in preparation for it, the like the back of her thorax, not where the stinger is, hits me, and then and then I get slept. I love how your hunter in the middle of you being upset by this just went, ugh. That's because I'm being attacked and I'm poisoned. I've knocked her to the. That doesn't help. We need that. We need that spider. Bring it yeah, back. I'm not really sure how I made such a perfect spider-shaped hole in that web. Oh, I want my shoulder back. Try harder. Oh, I'm so glad you. Uh, Try you, it. You um. You flinched her? You should have cleansers. You picked them out of the box. I didn't take any. I was like, I don't want cleansers. Okay, that would explain why I have four. And That's you're over one. here getting on your high Kelby about about me and, and first aid medical supplies. Uh -huh. Yeah. You didn't take the cleansers because you didn't want them. I didn't take the first aid meds because you took them first. <laughs> oh my god, I'm behind it again. Stop it. <laughs> it's not what that hitbox should be. It's just so incorrect looking. <laughs> it's just the help! Help! Oh, I might die because I'm asleep. Don't die, Cotton. I'll save you. Yeah, you're doing a lot right now. I'll sa- <laughs> No! You better be sorry. I'm glad that you're sorry, at least. I think it's you that should have said sorry, because you weren't helping me in the slightest. I was like, oh, you survived! And then I looked and saw the poison uh -huh. symbol, and I was like, uh, he did not survive. Oh god, this is bad. You can see how that would confuse me. Ha! No, 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 don't mount. No, no, I'm killing it. Really? Really? This is what I'm here for. Like, I, I was so excited to redemption arc my mount, and then you just... <laughs> I was like, why did it cancel? What did I do? And then Man, just... I can't believe you failed that mount in half a second. You weren't even up there yet. Yeah, I didn't even land. Nice work urging your way through that urgent quest. Don't say it. How do you urge your way through something? You don't. 
I've never seen a hunter get the better of an Asilla. Oh, this soon after arriving. I was gonna say, cause like, that's, that's, a, that's a problem. You've been promoted to HR too, yuppity yup. Ahem, but wait. Is there, is there more? I eat stars for breakfast, guild lady. That's weird. <laughs> I kind of love the characters in For You. They're all actually insane. You know, like they're all genuinely insane. Goodbye, Cotton. Go goodbye. I put him back in his Pokeball, everyone. My ball is poking me. I know all about it, Doodle. The culprit behind the lava stoppage is none other than a monster. And who would have seen that arriving? The grim and yet strangely groovy. <laughs> <laughs> They're grim and strangely groovy, yo. Take it down and half will get its lava flow back. Which means we can get our ship. Because we own... How is this Nursilla stopping the lava flow? Please, please... Please explain. Oh, is this the first time? I'd like to also ask a tiny faith, a very tiny, microscopic, really. You wait till you buy it, but could you reenact how the Nasilla uses its pincers? The science wants to know. Is it science or is it, is it you, Guild Mom? A few moments later. Behold the lava! For now it returns! Why was Nursilla blocking the lava? In what way? Her web was blocking the flow. She sticked it up into a nest. Her web is not stronger than lava. I don't believe that. What have you just seen, Cotton? I think that this is a coincidence. See, now it's all orangey here instead of bluey. I guess it is. I never thought of it as bluey before. Yeah, it was a hue blue. Now it's an orange porridge. Okay. So don't you feel better? Oh, that rust man's having a good time. He's got a pounder behind him in sink. You ever had lava cooked stir fry? Cause you're about to. That sounds like, like there's nothing to specify. It's just burnt. Look, that was an easy quick ship. Oh, That's yeah, it's ship. the classic. Oh, it's so cool. Does it have a dragon eater and a whale mouth? That's yeah. great. Yeah. Doesn't it look like a One Piece ship? It does. It's so good. It's it so good. It looks like Frankie's hair. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like one of the mini ships that get deployed. Alas, the capital C has its own ship. I'm going to call her the Arluk. It means whale. Arluk you. Arluk you. Is it because it looks like a whale, Caravaneer? Maybe. And we arrived, immediately fix their problem, get them to immediately make us a ship, and then bye. Yeah, I mean, it's fair enough, really. I have to go, or else I'm ever gonna learn anything new! I gotta see the world! I'm like their go-to decorations person now. That's true, that happened. I plan on being a permanent fixture in their smithy! How did you do that in in a sentence of Miss Fudge? How did yeah, you do that? Yeah, that's a bit weird. <laughs> she just stares at the camera, permanent fixture in the smithy. We're getting quite the crew for Capital C. Yeah. The Capital C doesn't discriminate, yo! And now it's time to sail the Capital C. Oh! Oh, she's human, okay. Yeah, that's why she doesn't like a Trevarian. Oh, just not discriminating. I figured if she's with the Trevarian, it's probably a Trevarian. She must get this rebellious streak from her blood parents. I don't know what they mean, but it does sound like... <laughs> from her blood parents. Look at everyone! It's like, oh, oh and yeah! And you, oh, Mr. Oh. The Man! <laughs> what is this scene? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to be alone. <laughs> Nobody loves me anymore. My daughter's leaving. Make sure you're fully prepared. I am fully prepared. I'm prepared. Want to set sail? No! 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 We will no longer be completing the caravan story. Like, here's the sail whale. I'm going to burn it. <laughs> And it is in front of the legendary sail whale that I bid you all adieu. Adieu what? All right, ladies and gentlemen, lie if you need to. Lie if you need to. <laughs> lie if you need to. Lie if you need to. Lie if you but need please to. tell me the truth if you can. <laughs> if the situation calls for it, please lie if you need to. Otherwise, like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more. If you didn't enjoy it, lie and, and still lie. Please make us feel good. Consider supporting the future on pa the future of the channel on Patreon. <laughs> Support the future. The world will not exist without it. Oh, good Bye. Bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye